Hello friends, welcome to our first read and love video. Remember when we read Catch to Catch a Star, How to Catch a Star by Oliver Jeffers? And I said Oliver Jeffers was one of my favorite authors. Well, here's another book called Lost and Found. I'm really excited to read this one to you. Lost and Found. There's How to Catch a Star. Here's the other books that Oliver Jeffers have written. This book is for Rory, Peter, and Brian. Lost and Found by Oliver Jeffers. Once there was a boy, and one day he found a penguin at his door. neighborhood. The boy didn't know where it had come from, but it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad, and the boy thought it must be lost. The boy decided to help the penguin find its way home. Look, this says lost and found. And this is man. <laughs> he checked in the lost and found office, but no one was missing a penguin. He asked some birds if they knew where the penguin had come from. But they ignored him. Some birds are like that. The boy asked his duck, but the duck floated away. He didn't know. That night, the boy couldn't sleep for disappointment. He wanted to help the penguin, but he didn't know how. Look, there's the boy's light. The next morning, he discovered that penguins come from the South Pole. But how could he get there? Look, he's reading a non-fiction book. Where penguins come from? He's doing some research, finding out. He ran down to the harbor, which is the place where boats park, and asked a big ship to take him to the South Pole. But his voice was much too small to be heard over the ship's horn. You see how small the boy is and the penguin? How big the ship is. So, together he and the penguin would row to the South Pole. The boy took his rowboat out of the cupboard and they tested it for size and strength. Look at that building, they're measuring. They packed everything they would need. I wonder why they're packing an umbrella. And together they push the rowboat out to sea. They rolled south for many days. And nights. Ah, I'm going to go back and use reread power because I thought the sentence ended here. But it continues. So I'm going to go back and reread. They rode south for many days and nights, with the boy telling stories all the way. The penguin listened to everything the boy said. I think they're having a good time. They floated through the good weather and the bad. Yikes. When the waves were as big as mountains. Until they came to the South Pole. <gasps> the sign says, Welcome to the South Pole. The boy was delighted, but the penguin said nothing. Suddenly it looked sad again as the boy helped it out of the boat. Hmm. The 
boy said goodbye and floated away. But as he looked back, the penguin looked sadder than ever. It felt strange to be on his own. And the more he thought, the more he realized he was making a big mistake. The penguin wasn't lost. He was just lonely. Quickly, he turned the boat around and headed back to the South Pole as fast as he could. Uh oh, what do you notice? Here the bow boy is going that way. You can see the arrow. <gasps> Who's that? Oh no, the penguin's coming that way. At last, he reached the pole again. But where was the penguin? The boy searched and searched, but he was nowhere to be found. Oh no. Hmm. Sadly, the boy set off for home. There was no point telling stories because there was no one to listen except the wind and the waves. But then the boy saw something in the water ahead of him. Closer and closer he got until he could see. The penguin. That's what the penguin used for a boat. And so the boy and his friend went home together, talking of wonderful things along the way. And that, my friends, is the end. And look at the cover. So this is the cover, and this is the back cover. But when I open it up, look, it's one giant sea. You can see the boat in the distance. I hope you enjoyed this story, friends. Have a great day. Bye.